morning, Yate Shetane. It's good to be with you this morning or this evening. <laughs> Change it up a little bit. Evening time. Uh, hopefully, you're enjoying dinner or have enjoyed dinner and uh, tuned in to our uh, our August twentieth, um, two thousand twenty COVID nineteen update uh, town hall. So uh, before we get started, let's open up in prayer as we always do. Yeah, City and God, we thank you. Only he, God, we give you praise this night. Thank you for another day, Lord, in which to uh, be about the nation's business, Father. We pray your wisdom, Father, which is the principal thing, Lord, to be with us tonight. And your love, mercy, and grace, which will endure forever, Lord, uh, be upon our people, Father. We pray for those that are struggling, Lord, those that are sick, Father, would you extend your healing hand upon them, Lord, across the land. May you uh, be honored and glorified in everything that, that we do, Father, as a people, as a, uh, lovers of uh, you, Father. And Lord, we ask that you uh, would just touch your people, Father. And as we conduct the meeting tonight, Father, I pray that the data and the information is timely. Lord, and it blesses uh, the people across the land. Lord, we ask again for your great wisdom in which to uh, uh, communicate, Father. Lord, we just thank you again. We ask you to be with us in this town hall and that many are going to be watching, Lord, and uh, that it is a substance, that it is worthy to those. It is a good report, Lord, to many. We thank you again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for joining us this evening. President Comanche Nishle, Tol Hane Bash's team, Otto Comanche Dasha J, Clash Jida Chanel. It's good to be with you this evening. And so without further ado, we're going to open up a great evening of uh, just uh, great presentations and uh, receive some timely updates. But first, the voice of the Navajo Nation and the president, Mr. Jonathan Nez. Take it away, sir. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Vice President, um, for the introduction, and uh, thank you to all our Navajo people and, and our visitors tuning in uh, this evening. And, uh, you know, we just want to focus this evening, or I, I'd like to focus this evening on um, the CARES Act funds. And uh, Eli, if you can uh, go back to last uh, two Wednesday or yesterday's uh, town hall and bring up that um, PowerPoint slide that has uh, all the colors on it. And, uh, you know, we just want to give you another uh, breakdown of how these dollars uh, are being um, expended just to get you all informed and transparency uh, of those uh, dollars as well. So, um, but before we go, and Eli's gonna be getting that uh, ready to put on the screen, I'm gonna give you the new numbers. The new numbers for today for COVID-19, in terms of testing, testing we have uh, 90,304 of our citizens who have received some type of COVID-19 test. Otto, 75,769 have tested negative for COVID-19. Uh, 9,519 have tested uh, positive, and that's uh, an increase of 19 positive cases from yesterday to today. Um, 19 positive cases. So of those 9,519, uh, since the start of the pandemic, 6,996 people have recovered from COVID-19. And we have uh, three new deaths to report. Our thoughts and prayers go out to uh, those families. Uh, over, overall, from the start of the pandemic to today, 487 of our Navajo citizens have uh, lost their lives due to uh, this virus. So, Nasta D, the Miliage, Doba Antra Nezatin, Doba Antin, and El Eco, Daska, the Nebiki Bacao. Dia Ya Akon, the Ne Bacao, the Nebiki Bacao, Ked Hatinigi, Ede Ya. 
he spells and she um the nae sat he can he nan claw the biligana biki at the keda hat ear. A do bishata di so a con an hide con keda wheat in the gi a con bashna she can clean. A do an das kragi do beta do zinagi a ya nast a the me yaj do. Ashla Nesnati Doba a Nahast aids a da a conelt a con a daska ado o de de cousin scagi a nello double don't need a conde Astra de me yaj Doba a Nahast a Nesnati Doba a Nah Nadin Astra in it, our a yakon, nikikane, he na yich daskri, yat end a slain. Ado, such a yan, he cane, he na, ah, but so deals him. Ayat end a slain, Bahaja, Ado deen, a bad of wheatney. A conde, nikikane, he na, did the cousin scraggy with Ado a dajitin. A deen, there's a deen. ซับเบตตินโตบาอาซอสเซอเนลตาวเอคอนอานฮิเกนิฮินนาอานฮิซาอาบาลดัสติเอชิคอนนุปัตซุดิลซินเกดันลินิกิอาโดเบเบเดล
嘛，黑黑个伊呀，啊啊，伊个新大事件多嘞，多啊，也新大事多嘞，就伊本来就伊是得得多，那但是得弄个大利亚的好啊，提到啊，好多人得你听，伊本来那伊呀，都莫也是个那阿那利亚，但是伊其实大事伊都啊，你难说，都是得大事。就一边也好啊，都有长大开个，变成啊那里啊的，啊是得得多少呢？到底那会啊，哎呀 ，Saturday 的某也是个呢啊那里啊，啊可的某个呢哎呀，你都得去，他都啊听得得得得开，因为别人是开多少呢？一啊多，啊那是哎我是开少多嘞，变那个是老我是开少。啊，哎，我得哎呀，啊，多得些得多嘞，多那里呀，把人多阿达得得多嘞，阿罗得莫也是个呢，多，哎，阿那是哎，我是开说，阿罗得莫个呢，阿罗得莫比斯卡那个呢，曼德个呢，比那个菲威啊，是老我是开说，哎，多得些得多嘞，多那里呀，把人多阿达得得多嘞，哎，阿卡尼是别的，还是多嘞，是给那谁呢？ Ahadi, hota aku, ni ke Washington, do kujen, nakan dah lesegi, ni ke dah des, ini ni ke ini ni na, jo eh di, demo ya, demo biskan ya, dah ya Monday, eh ya, na nish anal ya, aku nde, do eh at, kudet cakap hot zondo don lego, ba ba, has ago eh at 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 cakap do eh ya, dah nish, tetapi si eh ah gende. Nan dal nish, eh ya kudo deepen dal nish, no nat ani, ishi kudo ah nan nish bije kudo alia, cobi ni nagi jadi nas ni, dia kondo nihe, ikhay no seni gi shudne, nihe tu benda cie ada doh no, selanda zik at unhi Washington do at el, lai nat sos nas kudo eshlis dan nas, akondo तो भी गाता देखो इसी अर्थी दमों अजली तत्त्व देख खालो करे आशों चुता दिन आचोस नास नास को देश लिख तो नस्सनी दो शिकार दो शिकार दो वो नस्सनी की जो ए ये वाशिंगटन ये दाल ने शे वो ता ए ये बना ने शे देख ने शे के दो शिन्ना अको दी साए आन दाल ने आरो बिच इंदा इलिया आरो सातो Aa sate nana bich inda ilie do le chubini nagi e ya din le nkhanda pa ni chanda kai. E bina nishide hi ego e sato aji aa sate sa beso sa bich ekudo le sta di no. Pazir peha no e wata e ya beso pa bich ali ay kare ya bich ekudo il ne to le shikero shunna. In the numbers uh, 90,304 um, tests that have been given to our Navajo citizens. Uh, that's over 40% of our Navajo citizens being tested here. And, and those are just residents that actually live on our Navajo Nation. You know, of course, we know we have a lot of people living off uh, our nation. Um, they live uh, all over the country, all over the world, really, Navajo. Uh, we're not counting those that don't live here, but those that are living here, those are the numbers. Uh, and 9,519 have um, contracted the virus since the start of the pandemic. And then of those 9,519, 6,996 have recovered. That's a good number. And, you know, we, we, we thank the Creator for answering our prayers. Um, and um, we also have uh, 487 of our Navajo people who lost uh, their lives to COVID-19. So uh, uh, pray for them and, and pray for comfort and healing for those families who lost loved ones. So I'm going to transition to census real quick. Uh, Arvin Mitchell is on, on uh, right now. 17% of the Navajo people have self-responded. That means they let the census office know their household numbers. And it's very important that we uh, get counted, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I ask 
that you get counted. The website is 2020census.gov. I think it's .gov. Uh, Vice President, is it .gov? .com? Arbin. I, I, I'm sorry, I forget. But, uh, yeah. .gov. .gov, thank you, Arvin. <laughs> yeah, so it's 2020census.gov. Go to that website self-respond and i'm going to challenge you navajo people those of you that are listening over 300 people that are listening right now i challenge you let's get it up to 20 percent by monday so all weekend sunday you're going to be on lockdown if you if those 300 people that have not respond some of those if they respond we can get up to 20 percent easily and it's important to to uh, get counted because that's resources that come to the nation, you know, as well as political power. You know, as you all know, you know, Vice President, myself, we've been um, meeting with leaders, um, leaders of this country. Vice President has met President. You know, we we get in these speaking engagements because we have a powerful voting block. We have a. We have the numbers to influence influence uh, decisions, and we can't do that if we don't have the data to support it. So if you, if we support it with the census numbers and say, hey, there's over you know 500,000 Navajos, that's political power. That's power to change not just Navajo but change all of it in Indian country, because we've been helping them. I'm not, I'm not saying we've been speaking for them, but we've been speaking to support the 573 other tribes throughout this country. And, um, you know, we got to help others. We're, we're a big nation. Uh, the last census uh, back in 2010 said that we have about 350,000 Navajos uh, throughout the world. They had self-identified themselves as Navajo. Now, just imagine if we can report, self-report to the census, I think there's probably half a million Navajos throughout the world now in 10 years. But we just got to self-report because those are the calculations that are being used to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we, we boast, I boast, you know, that we are the biggest tribe and we are. But we need to self-respond so that we can continue to say that and so I can continue to boast about you all, the Navajo people, because you are uh, an inf influential uh, people to this country. So 17% right now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it to 20% by Monday. That's uh, tomorrow's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I want to get an update from uh, Arben Mitchell on, on Tuesday when we do the town hall and he's going to say, President, Vice President, we did it. We got 20%. Uh, I like to hear that uh, on Tuesday, actually on Monday. So let's do that. Let's uh, work hard to get uh, our numbers. So I'm just going to transition real quick to the uh, chart. Eli, if you want to bring, put the chart up, I'm going to go through this chart. Um, I know that everyone has been asking about the, Coco, um, the CARES Act funds and um, you know we have done um, several several allocate uh, several approvals now and I got the wrong one again that's what usually happens huh when you're trying to all right so we got the revised copy and um, Updated chart. I hope this is it. It's not. Uh, I apologize, y'all. Um, my my people, Navajo people. I'm, uh, I'm doing my best here. Uh, I should have been prepared. I just got back from Chinle, um, from the um, hand sanitizers and the mask uh, distribution, and uh, wasn't able to. Um, so uh, we did approve three legis uh, legisl resolutions, you know, um, just a little bit of uh, 
uh, background, you know, when we say legislation, legislations are the the, the bills that go into the um, council, and then once they approve it, then when it comes to the president's office, it, it, it's titled a resolution. Then, um, and so you see the um, the breakdown of of that. And uh, I, I know um, I'm on a different program, so I can't read what's on the screen. But if you can um, follow along on the on the bottom portion of that, oh, I know where it is. I, I can get it from Eli. Eli Leslie is our IT guy. Eli, thank you for uh, helping us um, get the get the uh, message out through social media and um, getting uh, all the uh, equipment ready for us and um, I'm putting it onto the gosh I can't even do this So, if you see, it, we'll start out with the bottom there. If you go to the bottom, it shows the three legislations that were approved by the council. And as you know, we packaged up many um, legislations for consideration, you know, based on what you all have been uh, talking about and wanting through these CARES Act uh, monies, we were able to uh, put a recommendation together. Of course, the council did some changes and some of the direct relief um monies weren't incorporated into that and um and we we did say that the um these projects these proposals needed to be done um and it had to be done by the the, the 40th i mean the 30th of december and we had to go through it, we vetted it, and our experts and the engineers that help us, and even the ones that, that helped us uh, get that information um, to us said that some of these projects weren't able to be completed by um, December 30th this year. Of course, we have a, um, we have a, a request for an extension, but that has to go through the council. And if you look at the chart there, we approved uh, 21 million fifty nine thousand five hundred and thirty dollars and ten cents. And that was approved. That was the first approval. That was the first expenditure that uh, was approved and we'll show you a list of that and then we went to we another one was uh, approved CJN 4620 for 41 million dollars and some of that was for hazard pay and also for uh, some of the immediate needs like PPE reconfiguring uh, reconfiguring the, the office spaces uh, and we are uh, doing our reopening so this let me go back to the first Alec uh, the resolution CJN 47 20 is for 21 million dollars and that was for 10 million for water basics uh, computer hardware for 2 million bathroom additions for 3.5 million the 638 healthcare facilities for 3 million uh, help to the Navajo Nation Financial Office, $2.5 and all that totaled up to $21 million 
$21,059,530 and 10 cents. And then you go to CJN4620, I'm uh, way at the bottom there. That had 21 million for special duty pay for those that were working through the pandemic. Personal protection equipment for an amount of 10 million. And also the safety assurance facility, that's the, um, the monies for reconfiguring our office space in the amount of 10 million. So all that under CJN4620 was $41 million. And then just recently, this past weekend, Vice President and I, we signed another legislation in the amount of $475,666,192,000. And those were for water projects, power line projects, telecommunication broadband, uh, also for hardship assistance, parks and recreation, uh, payroll support, uh, Navajo Nation Game Enterprise, business assistant, uh, judicial branch request, uh, Division of Economic Development, business assistance. Those are for our small businesses that were struggling. You know, we had a lot of tour business that were needed help. And then Navajo Department of Health, that, that's for vaccines and uh, even getting extra uh, flu, flu shots for, and then many others that the, the Department of Health needs uh, for this pandemic. So a total 475 plus million dollars, this, this recent one. We line item vetoed uh, 175 million because like I said, we uh, weren't able to finish those projects. We don't have a, um, we don't have that extension that we're asking. So we have to plan for December 30th. So our, our engineers and experts said that wasn't doable, but we're gonna repackage a proposal and Key Allen Begay is gonna be introducing that and that's gonna be for the remaining $176 million. And um, if you look at the first allocation in that, uh, if you can go back, uh, Eli, back to the other chart, that first allocation we got from the federal government on May 6th in the amount of $600,559,530.10. And then we got the second allocation of CARES Act money on June 16th, $86,358,877.04. And then we got a third allocation of CARES Act on June 18th, that's $27,271,224.33. So those three allocations, ladies and gentlemen, add up to the $714,189,631.47. So... Um, based on these three allocations, that's the total amount of CARES money that came to the Navajo Nation. And I just mentioned just a while ago, three resolutions or three legislations were passed. Those same legislations turned into a resolution and uh, President and I signed, Vice President and I signed that into uh, law. And that total, those three resolutions total 537 million seven hundred and twenty five thousand seven hundred and twenty two dollars and ten cents so you subtract that now from seven hundred and fourteen plus million and what's remaining a one hundred and seventy six million plus okay that's what's remaining ladies and gentlemen and we have introduced or whenever the council gets this legislation there'll be a number the legislation number we ask you to support it and Eli if you can put up the new proposal um, the new proposals for the 176 million this is what we want to ask the council to approve because if you saw some of the allocation there was hardly any direct a direct relief to our citizens. I know a lot of people want per capita, but there are people that are struggling on the Navajo Nation. And I said this before, there are people who 
made a decision to stay home and take care of their families through this COVID, usually they would leave the Navajo Nation and they would work off the Navajo Nation and they would provide, provide for their family. But I heard stories, many stories of dads, moms, of course, but dads really stepping up and saying, you know what, I don't want to work off the nation. I don't want to catch that virus and then bring it back to my family. So they stayed home and they took care of their family. But because they did that, you know, they didn't bring home a paycheck. So those in those individuals like that, they're struggling. But they did what a dad should do and what a mom should do and take care of their family. And, and I appreciate that. And so we got to get direct aid from that. So if you look at the list there, we want to put four million dollars for the shopping center because this is direct aid those people that are leasing those spaces they're behind on their rent too because not many of us uh you know shop there because you know because of curfew because we don't want to be in large gatherings and so we want to put four million for supporting those uh small businesses now college student relief ladies and gentlemen this is for our college students graduate and undergraduate 35 million dollars for our graduate students and undergraduate students, those college students that are struggling, having um, back rent, uh, maybe just, you know, there was no summer youth employment for college students, even our high school students. Here is um, some relief, $35 million for those individuals, uh, college students. We repackaged the housing initiative for $25 million and those are the ones in the housing improvement program hip some of our elders and some of our uh, um, high-risk patients have been putting applications every year so we have a database of a lot of people that have um, you know it's a point base too elders and, and high-risk patients and we do have a list and we want to provide them a dwelling, a home, and, and there are some options to that. That's in the amount of $25 million. Uh, we also want to put some money, $5 million for education incentives. Like those are for students that need clothing or some supplies, K through 12, uh, and help those students during this time as well. And also, we put some money for Head Start, $3.4 million to help uh, the, the parents and then the, the young little students for direct relief, buying computers if they haven't get it. Um, some schools didn't provide laptops or, or iPads and things like that. Uh, then we also have $3, uh, $3 million to Department of Education to help the teachers and to also help the organization to help, you know, with online courses. We're going online courses. That's what we said. We support that. The parents said they want online courses. Uh, the, the teachers said the same thing. So we said to the states, that's what we want. And, you know, I appreciate the states uh, allowing that to happen. And we said we're a sovereign nation. We did. We want what's best for our people. And so, the Bureau of Indian Education has supported us as well. Online courses, the state schools, everybody here in the Navajo Nation that has a school should be honoring uh, the closure of schools. But more, they're they're on online classes though. And so, you know, even if you're on private land, if you're surrounded by Navajo, you know. You should be uh, abiding by the closure. And if they don't, parents, you know, you have other options. You could give, you know, take your school, your kids out of a, a school that's putting your, your child in danger and put them in a state school or grant school or, you know, BIE, tribally controlled school. You have options. And once their, their numbers decrease, those that keep their doors open, and once they see their decrease, then they're going to finally realize the impact. And we want to just keep our Navajo people safe. $15 million for um, our elders and our, our special, I'm sorry, our um, high-risk patients. 
for direct assistance. You know, they need groceries, they need to pay their bills and things like that. We're also going to have 7.4 million for propane for the winter. Um, you know, get prepared. That's what we want to do so we can offer natural gas propane to our citizens to keep warm during the uh, winter. That assistance would be available if this legislation gets proved as is, as I'm presenting it. You know, you know, council can change it too, but that's where we need your help. Need you to advocate on that Verizon proposal for fifteen point four million dollars. That's to get all one hundred and ten chapters internet capable for our students, our workers, so that they can get internet access. Uh, native renewables fifteen million for solar, and those that live in the former Bennett Freeze area, uh, we want to put five million of that into that region to get power. Solid waste, we had to repackage that because we line item vetoed it because it went to the Navajo EPA. Rather than go into the Navajo EPA, it should go to a new program. And so we're gonna develop a new program and put four, um, $5 million for solid waste because that's a need. Navajo, the Navajo Nation DIT support, that's for broad um, internet capability. So. If you can't get to your 110 chapters, then we got to equip and put high-speed internet at Navajo Nation government buildings. Because sometimes you might have a government building closer to your home rather than the chapter house. So we want to provide high-speed internet at our government facilities. Um, and so that's what that's the, uh, being put there for. Police EMS uh, internet connectivity for our police, our ambulance, our first responders have those vehicles equipped with uh, internet capability because they, they're in the front lines and they need uh, to get um, internet capability. So they don't have to travel all the way back to the office to do their reports. They could do it in the vehicle and get uh, things done a lot quicker. Office of the Controller is a new proposal, $10 million for uh, contractors and consultants to help manage and help record the money so that we can give you reports like I'm reporting to you on how how much of these dollars have been spent because that's transparency to let you know okay this amount has been spent and that way you know how much is still left and now I pray and I'm hopeful that we're gonna spend a hundred percent of these dollars before December 30th help me pray for that and uh, you know we can do it, especially the the direct aid. This this direct aid can go out quick, and it'll be off the books, and it's in your pockets. Um, One million dollars to the office of management and budget. That's the same thing, overseeing the money, uh, so that it can get get done quicker. Because seven hundred fourteen million dollars is a lot of money to to handle and to report. These guys, these OMB, OOC, they have already the day-to-day -day stuff of cutting out checks, doing things like that. This would help supplement the CARES Act funding. And lastly, we want to put $30.5 million into hardship assistance. That's, as I said earlier, those are for people that are struggling out there, that need money to pay the bills, get some groceries, and it's going to be need-based. It's not per capita. It's need-based. You got to show us how you've been directly impacted, maybe your uh, unemployment, uh, you know, things like that. And uh, we want to make sure that those those dollars go to those that are in need. And some of us were OK, right? Some of us were getting paid throughout this pandemic. Some of us were administrative leave, getting paid uh, and we're OK. So, you know, maybe maybe those individuals shouldn't be asking for this type of relief because you know we were getting paid you know let's really help those that are struggling that are in need and a lot of them we got a lot of emails you know and that's what this 176 million dollars is all about once the legislation has a number it's still being drafted key allen's the the prime sponsor and We'll let you know what the number is, and then you can contact your council delegate. Tell them not to change it around. Let's get it approved as is uh, and 
And once we do that, every penny, the 714 million plus dollars that CARES Act that came into the Navajo Nation will be obligated. And that's it. And we just got to move forward and make sure we spend it all by, by December 30th. Let's not worry about an extension. Let's just work with what we have now. And when there's no guarantee of an extension. But if we do get an extension, then we're happy with that. We're happy with that. So uh, that's it. I'm going to make it short. Um, next week, we'll be, give, we'll be giving you better PowerPoints, uh, these slides, so that you, you're informed of what's happening. Right now, we're in the process of buying PPEs, getting the money to the 638, that first and second allocation of monies, getting, uh, getting it appropriated. So we can only do so much here, and then we got to have the Office of the Controller step up, too. And sometimes, you know, that takes a long time. You know, that's always a complaint. How come checks are not being issued, you know? And we did all our paperwork. We did it and we just send it over. And sometimes they, it's just too busy because that's why we want to put some extra money aside so that they can get some more staff on board so that these checks can get uh, approved. And that's what some of this money in this 170, uh, 177 is all about or um yeah so uh that'll be uh my report for today and we appreciate everybody for their diligent 176 million is what's left of the cares act funds and let's get it out let's help out some people and uh you know take care of yourself continue to wear your mask you know i don't usually wear masks because i'm at home i'm sitting in my room uh, in an office by myself now and um, I know some of them, some of the other division directors have to wear a mask when they're on camera because they're um, around other people. So uh, take care of yourself, wear your mask, social distance, uh, wash your hands with soap and water, use hand sanitizers if you don't have soap and water, and as much as you can, ladies and gentlemen, stay home, stay home and love your family take care of your uh your your elderly out there let's protect them and we'll we will we will get through this pandemic we all are strong we're we are resilient and we will overcome this tough time so stay strong sorry again i didn't go much into detail into navajo there's just so many presenters so i'm turning time over to our vice president Myron Lizer, thank you so much. Uh, Vice President, I'll turn it to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good good data. Good uh, to know you were out in Chinle and uh, passing out more information, more brochures and whatnot, and hand sanitizer. Uh, we have uh, had a large shipment of hand sanitizer, so it, it needs to get out there. Appreciate your leadership again, Mr. President. Uh, so. Uh, Yate, good evening, everybody out there uh, on the Facebook Live. Uh, if you remember, uh, I'll, I'll recap a little bit of uh, what uh, this week was like here uh, in, in your government. On Monday, we welcome back the last uh, approximately 33% of our workforce uh, came back to work, you know, the, those non-essentials and um, those that haven't been coming to work. So uh, August 17th, first day back to work, kind of like first day back at school. and. Uh, even though our students aren't uh, back in school and uh, hopefully, you know, probably for some time, uh, prayers that we need for our people, uh, students to be able to uh, do their studies online. And so it's a very important time. And we're working hard, working feverishly to try to uh, help, whether it's, it's um, you know, laptops or uh, uh, broadband, um, hotspots, and the like, uh, they need to be able to work uh, uh, and then be able to commence their studies online. And so on Monday, we welcomed all of our workforce back and um, our offices opened to little fanfare. And, uh, you know, maybe amid some reservations, I think, by those workers, uh, as you know, they were at home and, uh, you know, on paid administrative leave. So, uh, um, you know, uh, some apprehension, I'm sure. But as we get started, uh, I didn't hear of any uh, big, uh, large problems out there. So, so welcome back for all of those that have been home for five and a half months. You know, it's a very important precedent setting. You know, we have... Uh, 
a lot of um, of our people that uh, just never had to go through a pandemic. And, uh, you know, as we uh, uh, changed the way we did things, the way we lived, and uh, just became a, a new way of uh, staying safe, uh, uh, the mandate for masks, uh, social distancing, staying home, you know, became the norm. And so uh, as we uh, are back at work, welcome back again. And uh, we look forward to uh, enhanced uh, uh, service to the people, direct aid, direct services for our people as government needs to get back to work. And so soon after that will be uh, our uh, businesses, all of them, non-essentials, uh, opening up and, uh, you know, being safe still, so very important. And it was a tension, right, uh, way in saving lives versus opening up. I mean, it's just one of those things uh, to get your economy started. We saw it play out all across the land, and uh, we saw some people doing very well at that. And we also, uh, you know, saw some uh, areas struggle with that, that as well. And so our president has reminded reminded us, you know, of uh, the seasons that are changing and approaching us, uh, fall and winter. And so uh, this requires us all to start to prepare and to start, uh, you know, getting ready for winter. Those that are right now chopping wood, I see a lot of uh, posts on Facebook, people cutting wood and get, bringing it down the mountain. And uh, whether they're selling it or giving away for free, you know, the very great need for us all you know to continue to buy navajo and buy local as you know uh whether it be chainsaws or maintenance or you know uh fuel or you know uh, uh updating restocking our, our homes for it's very, very important that we uh, try to do as much as we can buy navajo and buy local and so i know our own jt willie is doing the same uh, at you know, uh, promoting uh, the Buy Navajo, Buy Local, and uh, getting our stores prepared and ready for the upcoming season. And so, President mentioned that we did uh, work into our budget proposal, the uh, $4 million for the Navajo Nation shopping centers, again, for them to keep their uh, uh, patrons safe. You know, uh, this COVID-19 has uh, changed up a lot of things the way we do, and so they need to uh, be able to uh, present for their um, um, tenants all across the, the i believe 13 shopping centers across navajo land to be able to uh, uh be safe and uh, provide a safe retail shopping experience and so it's very important um a kind reminder again uh, you know by navajo by local when you do get out there i saw some reports of uh people uh changing uh, where they're going to be placing their purchases and so uh the need to uh, uh be able to uh bolster the shopping experiences here on navajo and so um if you remember as we visited all 110 chapters within the navajo nation we heard the challenges and pleas of our navajo people uh, the coronavirus has emotionally and physically and spiritually and financially impacted families and we see this play out uh, throughout the, this last six months or so so therefore we need to develop uh, plans that will directly help our people you saw and heard uh, how president Nez had highlighted for you what this cares uh, funding will be doing and the budget formulations that we were working feverishly on along with our cabinet but also working with our 24th Navajo Nation Council to get these plans uh, approved and out there. And we only have four, four short months in which to do this. And so our goal is to spend every nickel, every penny. And so uh, prayers from the people, we appreciate that. And uh, again, to bring uh, vital services as we mitigate the rest of this COVID-19 and prepare for the next one, you know, we'll definitely uh, advance some measures that with regard to water and electrical and broadband and uh, you know become stronger for it and so we appreciate all of that uh, 714 million again uh, our goal is not to send any of it back and let's, let's work pretty hard and so we appreciate the prayers all across the Nata that you would uh, just uh, again pray for your leader leadership and wisdom and, and also the workers right uh, weather is going to be a large uh, factor in this year hopefully those projects can uh, commence up, up and through you know uh, December and then still even then you know be able to be uh, 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 productive and also just be able to uh, finish those projects so also as we heard um, uh, our president uh, 
earlier, and I know we're still a little bit of uh, Arvin Mitchell, who's going to follow me right here, Amelia. This is the last thing I'm going to mention here, and then we'll uh, introduce Mr. Arvin Mitchell of the 2020 uh, census here. Uh, he did, our uh, president did say 17% of our Navajo population have been counted right now. And so, again, I would be remiss if I didn't mention to you all across the land to stand and be counted, to, uh, you know, go to one of the outreaches and then make sure your family, wherever you were living on April 1st, that is your residents and make sure that those that were living with you on that time to be counted and so uh you can register online right and uh self uh respond or else uh, hit one of the outreaches and so we need everybody president was right um just for highlight here uh 2010 census 173,667 were living here on the reservation, the Navajo Nation here. And we had 175,306 living off of the reservation. So, um, you know, that, that just speaks of the, the, the total number was 348,973 were on our tribal roll, our tribal census back in 2010. What do our numbers look like now? President was mentioned that these numbers can influence decisions. It's very powerful. It's very um, eye-opening to know that, you know, what if our number is that now over 400,000 of our registered people, right? Uh, just uh, think of it and the possibilities. When legislations change when uh, jurisdictions change, right? Uh, the population shifts and whatnot. We bring more of our people back, I I, I'll bet we do have more people living back home because just uh, that that's just one of the things, you know, Ms. Lizer administration, we've been talking about bringing our, our, our professionals home and uh, hopefully we've made a little bit incremental change in that and enhancement. But we know when we do that and we say that we got to bring the retails stores here, we got to bolster our economic development. We got to open uh, uh, more businesses here on Navo. And so I'm all about that, having come from the private sector and businesses. And so uh, to this point, you know, people are saying, well, we've not seen any great change. And just know that uh, the, the, the government and the way it's structured and the many, many uh, uh, obstacles that are out there, the bureaucracy that's out there where, where we, they've been exposed. They've been we've been working with our federal family in Washington, D.C. to get our rules and regulations changed. And I believe we've we've uh, encountered some difficulty, but. Through that, I think the momentum, and I've always said, you know, at some point we'll, we'll reach critical mass where we'll keep growing in spite of anything that we do because many more people have bought into the concept and they're buying Navajo and they're buying local and there's more stores. And so, you know, it takes some time, just like the proverbial rocket that leaves our atmosphere, it'll expend 80% of its energy and fuel before it's able to uh, move easily in our atmosphere on 20% of, 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 its, of its fuel and uh, of, of its uh, thrust, I guess, from the engine. So uh, it's a very uh, neat uh, illustration on what are, is happening right now. And so at some point uh, in the future, we will have uh, some great momentum started. And I believe $714 million can help you do that. And so we're looking forward to the future. It is bright. And as we uh, come around this, uh, the end of this pandemic here and prepare for the next one, you know, I, I believe we're, we're well prepared. A crisis, you grow through crisis, uh, crisis creates opportunity. We've heard numerous, numerous, numerous uh, opportunities come and uh, we're vetting those and we're looking forward to what we can make happen. And so appreciate you all and the prayers all across the land. And so remember, stand and be counted. These numbers influence decisions. So that's the last from the vice president here this evening. We appreciate you. Uh, um, and then ladies and gentlemen, uh, Nick's uh, giving us uh, vital updates and timely updates. Remember, you heard earlier, President's challenge, let's get counted. Let's raise that number to 20% by next week. And so let's see what we can do. All right, Arben Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen, Arben Mitchell from our Census 2020, he's going to give us his updates. So I appreciate Arben. Thank you for all of that uh, information and data. Get yeah, along. Hey, so now I get quite hit to be. I don't end the year by the hand of 2020 census. The Nenal and is not a happy day. We're in the 10th year, 2020, I don't 2030. The Nana, I don't you know, you have to wait another 10 years to get your to get your numbers again. 
I don't need it, but you a operation to get update leave, but no, it's a bunch of um, August the 10th, and I it's a questionnaire again. The seat me, I don't need that catching, but the plans didn't they? I don't touch it, yeah, and lady, yeah, that's the kind of she had a yard and as and had a not that is called a banana. A to get ya a cut now, yeah. If you still have your questionnaire. A president or vice president, yeah, just now. Now, other part of that, they go not on the A by internet. It or the not on a phone. They give not on Angel. It or the A a shaking it not on the streets and so on. A not on Angel. A soft response. Then they give a cut a cup of naughty. A do and the A they cut cut a yeah non response. Then they give a a bunny cut cut a a the uh, to respond that on the Yitlagi, August the 9th, and that we're only into our second week of uh, going out, going, going out in the field. I uh, don't know, Nishigiya, 1,170, 1,170, eh, between we in that. I don't know, the Kodana Nishodlo, I don't know, the Ekoda, a fingerprint, the Dolnit, on the background check, and on the train, in the Dolnit, that we didn't need over to the wheel in that. Uh, I could say uh, they are 565 as of yesterday. 565 uh, has, uh, co has has come forward to, to do the training. So we still lack in workforce, especially in the Arizona side, uh, Western Arizona and then Central Arizona. Uh, we're knocking on the door now. If you didn't self respond, I don't know now. The hako, a a ya, a follow up visit because a ya quite get not so seen in the cutting to a yet. I don't know the census ID be the epic heart or the epic how in a time dot key. A quite only that cut nuts and the door. I don't if you're not home, uh, we'll be leaving a a a a a one pager, uh, feel feel. Feel visit the car and it'll have your census ID number. Every cow in it and dot clear to us and so as you know, it's like it. I don't and the self response in the budget. We're only at 17 percent Navajo Nation. I don't Lego, especially in the Arizona and New Mexico, they're they're in the low teens or also in the low 20s. So we're but Navajo, okay, we're we're increasing. Every day, I have no idea the self response. I don't internet be in the people that respond by internet. It was only at 3.4%. 3.4%. I don't by phone or mailing it back. You get 13.6%. Adia, it's not in the town. I eat la. It's in the home, but you hit internet connectivity. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm here. It's an evening. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I uh, don't that a lot of households still don't have um, the luxury of having a computer. I don't have a mail, but I don't have a post office. Uh, 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 it's starting to be in the news again that, that our, our mail delivery is getting to be slow again. But no. So a lot of these responses are not in the mail, 13.6%. I don't know about agency, by agency. In India, a 17% Navajo Nation, the Shnoba Chahun, yeah. By agency, Fort Defiance Agency, a 20.2%. A percent a hot a not a naitla. Ado Chindli Agency, a 14.1%. Ado Western Agency, 17.1%. Ado Eastern Agency, a 16.9%. Ado Northern Agency, a ya 16.3%. Although, let me go to some of the areas that have a high response within Navajo. 28.2%. Now, that's the Lutton. 28.2%. That's a high number for a uh, for, 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 for rural area. Although, 24.6%. Although, in the Windrock area, a 23.7%. Ado uh, Delcon, Tisto, White Cones, and then Wells, 21.8%. Ado uh, 20% Herfino, Nayizi, Consular. Ado uh, 20% in Hansa, Upper Fruitland. Ado uh, 19.4% in 
a, a uh, Mexican Springs 40 points crystal. Uh, the 19.2% Crown Point Little Water and Lake Valley. Although 19% it agrees with white rooms, like it to steamboat cornfields. It, uh, these communities are, are in the in, in the twenties and then also in the high nineteens. Uh the media cannot uh president yeah, uh, yeah let's let's challenge ourselves to get to twenty percent no yeah uh though by Monday go yeah twenty percent like then get uh don't the lay the shin uh nikid nashi uh the clap and uh don't the uh in uh give a hush net I don't the shatosh uh cut or uh not uh not any I don't not uh yeah you don't get a visit from a census worker. Uh, don't, if you get a visit, uh, don't, uh, face mask, uh, don't, um, agency, Monday through Friday, uh, we're set up at Navajo, Navajo Shopping Center. Every Monday, we're at Crown Point, Ado uh, and Pinyando, from 10 to 2 o'clock. Every Tuesday, eh, we're at Kienta, Ado uh, Shiprock, Ado uh, and every Wednesday, eh, eh, yeah, we're at Burnside, uh, Tuba City. Every Thursday, Gina Chin, eh, yeah, Le Chin Li, Ado and Del Con, Mobile Questionnaire Assistant, eh, Ado and Del Con, Ado and uh, do, uh, the she any questionnaire again, do she, uh, do in the other uh, ID number, give be a bazin, a the ID number, be a bazin, they are the internet, be a yeni cut or what sense in that the she get. I don't that every Friday is come a Montezuma Creek, Utah library, the I uh, don't the Sanders, Bass's, or I do Herfino chapter, uh, a we added a uh, Herfino chapter, uh, just this week. In later, I did the Hadna, the Crown Point, don't cut and such. I do a cut the Herfino chapter, the Shankoshe, Naizi, the Ajke had any had no Ebony, a Herfino chapter tomorrow, chapter house, the same 10 to 2 o'clock. Every, every, uh, every day, the same time, the same place, a hut a adeg, a for the month of August, a hut a do. I don't that the state of New Mexico, yea, go yan in the Hyena. Uh, with the 50 states, yeah, with the 50 states, the state of New Mexico is is the last in, in, in response rate. governor's office. So, so we want to set up at, uh, over at Walmart. Uh, business. Uh, so, We'll be setting up at at at, at uh, Walmart all day. I don't that day. Then later, I don't that. Now she get all social distancing. They um they're practicing social distancing. They're doing social distancing and then also making sure that they're wearing their masks. I don't hand sanitizer though. I don't be the hand. I don't that let's just all gloves. She get all essentials and that. She get. I don't she get all other. I don't she get all other. Now she get all the thing. Uh, ne 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 え、で、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、
Auto, if we're short on uh, on our workforce, it's a it's a uh, double impact if we don't do our response. Then if we don't have the workforce out there, it's a auto kahana nan hidesh ni do ni chidi tori chidi ni strong shi ba shi shi auto kia ani ba shi chi auto da naga ni da shi nade auto kahana nan hidesh ni do thank you. Na akeha shi ya shi shi kodo shana ho shi jinle ya te shi kedo shi dene ado tsele te na tani na sheni shi ya ado tsele akeha president vice president ado chief of staff ado khashi no na base ba sa ane tsa na zile da na no sheni akeha shi di ni do le ado kujahana da so kizi ki. Do ta isa no tsa'i a kihe chikedo shidne a do khashi no tsa'i dene bizadi do tsa'i ba hien sen tsa zindo a do kwe e ya khashi tsa'a ani de kwas do jopa'i na khan tni'i de kwas do itini na khan tni'i ni hi denen li ni de kwishi ni hit a bike da hastin di de ne za ti da ba a te bi do ba a no ba hanne to la o kon hi to li o kon ni yu shi ha jin so ko ni hi je da ste chi ke do shi ne kon da ha sho it a do le an le ho ta ho ho to ni e to ni ni go do ben ye sh ed ni e da ni Yo ha shin tsoko yego nan hin tkin chik edo shit ne. A ko an le ni hit has anko, ni hit na has anko, a ho en tasi. A ko e ya ha shin tsoko ene kez ne. A ko a de e ho wado e nan tkin sa has la. Ek ena has twido sani itan ne. Naste. A ishi do ya at eshi bi tadado ka. Nihe do it de de tsel da da no da hit hit da had ne ende. Ha e dash a had ne, o tsen ze lende, and then could the cut. Bene ka. O ko hash do it ado le shik e do shit ne, ye go hata enos ne. Do sa yat e he be el tri a da tri, e yo da he no ne. A a ni na is nado. Kajayil de lo to zit eda. An lein diegon zit kes. Go ane yot li. Kajine la san hit a en da iste a o a ni do ane yot li. E bini na haza diego ba ho jilia o el e. Na se do e ho zenda. Ot a be sa en dan hit et nest ha. A ko di kwa en da de nebe sa ho zo ba kai ha shin sa go en da e jnish. Dosa e a ta in nish. Ha shine la e di a a ta si il zint e o. Do ha shine la e a hon hi chit in da e lie da. Jo e de ka ba hu in te. O ka di be la ga na ik e jo gradual reopening de il ne. E a hon tlo o a al ke khaz a o a hi il ne. Do e a ho sh e kwa a tskin lo na e do ka da di ni da. O ka di i tala te na t'ani nhik e taha di ni i jo e na ha na na sla. A al ke tan hit e no e a al ke goh i na sen. A do na khandal ni shi a na an le di which e ya da al ti e. Ha jo gradual is lin e il ke hu na a o li e. Do a ho shi a t'ende el kha in jit le da. A do di ta an ni shi kun ne el do di Zato chinta ta tes bali do ahlo do le, isht e hot e do le, ado nabit in tkin do le, di kwa e shan si ha nakta ho, e al sachi di chin si e bichin no da, jo ha shin sa go te kwe go shin na in tkin na, i ni zinat e bi ni gra, she di kwa to shi chin to shi ze ta tes bali da asa ha sa ta ni bini na, ki na an da i jnish, a ko di na khanda ni shi ha jo o pe na pe de ni ti hen do i ti da. 
ایشین خواتی تا ایسنا صائی نشتو نا خاص اللہ انا تانی تو پی غہی خوش خال نائے اخ خان اصلا تو اش تا اخش کیا تو لے اش تا ستتے چچین تو سے پتتے اس با تو لے کن خود نو ہنی تے او تا جف ای تو لے اللہ خاص اللہ تے نا انش جو اے خود ہی ات اس کو ان شک اے دو شد نا آرو دی کون تاندال نشی نو شدیس نا ایرو خاشیل سکون لے کو یاندان تھا آرا چا آنین دار نار نشی کی پچھی تو بنی دار ایز بار آرا چا آنین کو ایے کو اس آندار کو اس آندار نش جو اے دا چاہی دا اے سب ناس کھائی کو اے ہوں نش ای اے آد اندے اتان دا تو نا کس کھان دا اندے آسا سکھین لان دی اندے پہ اتنا اوہو تھتل غاہ نو تو اس آتا نو پاتا ہنے اکو آنکی ایت ایدو تو جو بے نانیت کی نیت انیت ایس تو بہز آنی حتا دل یادو اتا اتا خوشیتا دی نیا بین تا نیت کنده لہو اچند دی تخصا بانے کھے آنو دی حاشین چکا بہز آنی تا حتا دل یا تل کمیورین پالسی ولی اے آہو ودو تا انیشو آہو ودو نا انش کاشی نے لان کی تنہ ان لنی نزادے بسن تا تچہ نانشکو ان لے اس اوزدے تا دون لے کچھ غہو چان آ دون لے تو بسری کو یادا پس تا اچھے لے تو اے آکھون این تا انشتا نزاد نانشتا ہولنا لا اپین دا تین کو تا ہے تل نیش اشتلا دا کو تا ہے تل نیش اکو اے آ اے آ تشنے تی تل کمیونی پاسی تا چا پاپان تا چھے جو اے پس اللہ آدھو خاشی تے شی اے ازے تو چھے یوس اے دی ازے تا انیس نہو انجل نشو ازے تا انجل نہو خاشی تے شی اے تو پسن چھے پانسا اجل نہ تو ہاں نے اکو اخو تے ہی اے فلیکسبل ورک سکیجل دیس نے آج تو سہتا چھتا اے آدھو دی کھون تا خوصناس نہیں بس آن اے دو پس جئل یا خاشی نے لانشی آنی تو پس جئی دو نیکی سلو خود آج اے دا آن تو خوصن سانا سے اے چاہت دا پتی نے سے دو ہتا او چی دا 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 نے یا دا نیکی سبے دا حضر لے دا دے ساتو او سی اے دا ساتا جو او خوئی مزن سے یا جو اے بنا انتی نیت اے جو اے آج اے کووید لیو دے سنی یا اے آج دو سا حل نو خاد دا نجل نشو دا پی جی یا خودو لنا اے دی کووید لی بی گی ساتو ہا کس تھی او اتا اے لے ایم ہنڈر ان ٹونی آورز اصلا نیزا تینو آنا دین یہی کچھ ساتو ہا کس تھی تو لے ہوا جا تزدا آنا دی انی آنا لیا دا دی نے تمو بیس کھانیے دا آنا لیا دی آنا لیا اے دی ایڈمنسٹریٹیو لی والی نے اے اے قد نے ہو لیا آنا دی ہا شیل سکا دی نے دو سکوی سانی چکے چکے دا نشی سپیشل دوری پی دیس ننی اے دو نا اولیا اکو قدلے خیمان خانانا چے دو لے جو تا دیگن جو ایک اپن نا تا ہوئی تا آرو قدعی یا حاشین سکو سہو آن دا ریائی کی اکھون دے سہو تا تا ایس خال دیک او او آن دا دل خستا ہلو آد تا نا اسوز کو ایشو کھاد او وزن زو دی بچو ہو نا آنے سا انچھو تو گاہ کو خود آتا بکھا سا ہو اے آنی آتا چاہ اکھون دے جو دی او یو نیکی انرنیت آتا تن اچھا کو جز نو شے آدھ سا ہا پا ستارو لے آنو دی نہو دی ناز نشی تا نو سنی دو ناز نشن لنی دو نبر کا ہو تزا بکھا کو اے اے یا دی ٹرابل ریسٹرکشن دے اتنا اے آتی اے اتی بہز آنی کی اتی پہ خط خطت اے آرو نہون کسن تا اچھے نا ننی نا ننش کو اے سب پتنی کھون آ کھون سنان ننش او دا آہون ہونن آرو آہون ستان تیل کو اچھو تا پتی نے دی آئی سی پی تجدی یا دو خطو دا خوصی خوش جہو دی کانٹیک ٹریسن دیکھنا بلکان اگر اچھو اے آج اس توی سانی چکے چکے تن لنی سانتا اسکھا او چون دا اسکھا ہوتا ہے 
todo pues no hat ego aita hat el zahar con sin ya que pues el queen la hat na na de no da at and the ye was the hat na was chat it was chat it la it e so ela ad ohun za de de ha si na hot ala belik at a shni jo ein da at an ich kha ado kha kha ko shin ji ya na e at ye was na hat ne Aro kunne eti das nicht nach Lenny, Aro nach Ani nach Lenny. Die Kue ban bananhi desch kan, schick edo schittene, Aro kebe da kerko. Haji noch nach Ani nach Lenny. Ich hehe in Hidini dole. Ako die Behas sehige in der Hand da nischi, schick edo schittene. Haji ote nossen. Pa ata hosnya, adon dah nasi tu nih nak ani hajo bete yat ke, ikhun snaga, sajat eh bete yat ke, asin ini lede, ha isin si dah itu ni, ha isin si sajo yat eh hota di sante, jo ani hit itu aku nak cuchang hal. So he would a had a nest or a arms now, or steam the whole year. Quite a joy he did the deal nest. Ah, Jay has shield to the best on needs then. I don't know what the class you get a slap, shall chin a hollow. I don't betray jet the hollow shinal closhing, will not a pasta a paishness. George, a joke would a. Has she no snark, what did she turn the half net? Chanat ani punne, chanat ani di ishne, ano nat ani da aho nat ohne. Di hot a chanat ne si ana anle di si che aski to kesh ni da. Ta 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 aski to ne. E to ben ye tan si is ne da si ke do si de ne. Ben ye en si to ne le ko es la to na ne si de si ni si de ne ba ka di lo si ni zen. Jo e kwa e ye go ba nan hiin sh ka. A do de ne sa ni his tui zil ke ju ke dan li ni na al nish go bik e bichin iz la do le. Do e bich an an stil ghe sta. Kwa e na sh nish go a do be so bichin ho do ni a do e chit in da ha yos na ne. A do be chit in da ha yos na ne. Kha jo o jo be so e a e da pa sin ne. Kha jo o be chit in da ha yos le. Kwaeto khatan chint o liyeh ti bini na asto kho liyeh. Uho jo o pebe kho jil na ho. Ado o tseha da. A si kwae kedo da da net ni a tkunit kunit ehen deil nish to kho liyeh e e bini na ako tsao koko. Ha si ne la di na khanda lishi a a ni le sako na ta ni ye sin da hal ne. A ne a do kho jil da hal ne ho. How do you think that makes us feel? How do you think we have to? What's our approach? Jo e as the shne na tani itlini hazad lini pa ako jilian. Ado na tani ni itlini do ado sa as you be chijin ne lwo. Ko jo ko tela sho di la benina. Ako at sa ko jo has do se. Ado at his do ne. Ado enta sho ko tela. Shate shama shana shayash di ita as deh ni la khol ye. O anna an le di tint lo bik i na jan jinto a de sa sa as yu de be ish de shisho. E e do nant ani wo ye da. E o kha ha jan shato sa as yu jin na jil go ol ye. E e kodong be be nant tra do le ha shi ne la go a ni nant ken ho lo. Ben is tehi ge e a a ni kote tsin yos ka khaj na da huil khaj na da huil jish ak ko e khaj ge e a o yana de chil a do ha shil tsa ko di e tkhin e tkhin ka o ne tehi do la a na an le di chide chide do a ben se ke san de shni Anand le di konta hai di kha asto. Hat so de zin ho lan she di behez ani abe kek e ho e chis on kwa sto le. 
Hashine lai o tsikli tsikli a to lo to tsikli ti o kono chef na halo edo beta ho tsian shik edo shidena a do e ti chish hashino sna chish da ho ye a ani ye kono ne shit es keda e ti shi chain sa de ta ten kade ha shi ita etsen ne tepe Sent <laughs> Oh, you can't the judges and start a kick here. That that's just no. And then later, now she did not start that. She nulled and nila. So hey, she nulled. Do budget da. When you na do budget, she e do nicotine la da. A do top is na in car da. E na that di in the na a just top is ne car she da has ne a do bunch e do me da. So what a a con de. She <laughs> Santa, Clanky didn't need a dad's ill tongue to the Hatta Big at the Dole. That the Owinson, the dear old Anna and Tinny, as she cado should never be a da who here. Be a da Hanotson, Nikits Isi Bahanotson. Aji a laho yego ye yen that and Tinder has tweed or sunny. Ado overnames is. Be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be,be
And so those are good signs that we look at as far as there are individuals that are testing more negative than positive. So that is a good um, measure that we're following on a daily basis. So just wanted to reiterate the importance of that and just wanted to go ahead and share some safety measures here that um, I like to cover each time um, we are looking at just basic um, prevention. And so I'll start here from the beginning. These are some signs that will um, be printed that you'll be seeing throughout the Navajo Nation um, through our effort with the, our PIO. We have a public information officer under the command center um, that includes several um, partners and also working with the hospitals and also um, OPVP and distributing materials like this as a reminder. So always wear your mask, maintain six feet of physical distance. Also wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. Clean and disinfect high touch surfaces as well. Those are just a very important preventive measures that we have to do in order to keep our numbers down. Also like to reiterate the wearing of a mask um, in order to stop the spread. So if wearing a mask in public places is very important. So as question get the national credit on a kegel. How the sheet yon dal nehoda. Also so credit post office to bin yen a kegel do a to in da cock or do. Best up in yet on lay. Best up has unge do in gun a kegel. Uh, Kaitin Hinchinton, his there of Betades Bolo, Kaiti Adich on okay. Also continue to stay six feet from others. Adot on and Dakedo, I use um six feet to a Kaitin Hin Hiat, so make sure that you stay six feet distance from others. Make sure you wear your mask. Um, that fits snugly, comfortably over your mouth and your nose. Adi kaadido um in the lookin hitchinton, his elso, but that does ballo de no sin. Um plata e kwadi do jo but that does ballo do yad eta e kwatata the net la the shin kwato yano kego la the shin bichinta but a yog of sister ball. Um they might wear it a little bit down so just make sure that fits snugly, so. What a shin de um, kaiti the kosen sagi shin kaiti, so kaiti bestahe dotsi to dots ohlia. It's really made um to protect from droplets, of course. Uh, make sure you are secured with ear loops and ties. Um, that the fabric um there'll be there are multiple masks that are made out of fabric, or you can wear the disposable ones. Avoid touching the mask. Wash your hands after removing the mask. A fabric mask should be washed for every after every use and also a dry mask without damaging shape. So there's always um, ways to clean it. So Kaidi is washing um Kanda Kistoto Kaidi um these of the end of the Yage Kaidi Aquija Kwaitwanda Kis um he lot better do jot the desk by lot of kind dry and dust in dog with a dosing credit um high risk exposure in the name credit now kitchen zone go a do the credit mask how long ago i used to credit the cost and television um it's very highly transmittable so i don't like the asa go to zone credit her a chinto has a better test bottle at the R quota. It's still a medium risk exposure. But I thought it's on Kaidi, it's it's on the Kaidi Asa. A Kaidi mask, um, then July Kaidi is a low risk exposure as well. I die is a hundred is on Doka. A chinto has a has a better test bottle a quota. A quite low risk exposure, so. Making sure that you wear your mask and maintaining that six feet distance is very important. Ada kli jenon kati the kosen tanas 
Nas eta hagenigi, Kaiti aquichin hilatrandakis, Ajo Kaiti hilatradakis, so eh, it's what the tlea or not eh. So make sure you wet your hands with water all the way through. Ado Kaiti tolo was she gets for nilape, um, bed, um, Bahanas in Kaya, Bahajis in Goyat eh. So making sure you cover all your hands with soap. And make sure it's 20, um, 20 seconds. After you do that, make sure you rinse it with, you rinse your hands with water and then you dry your hand completely. So those are the basic steps of washing your hands. I always think these are good things to teach your kids. Um, Little kids, I think around five, six, they're really receptive to information. So, and they're the ones that can remind you too. Later on, if you tell them something, they might remind you later. Remember you told me to do this, how come you're not doing it? So you, I always appreciate that with kids. Um, even my own, my own child reminds me a lot of these kinds of reminders. So if you teach your kids, um, those kinds of behaviors, um, they'll take it back to school um, when the when the schools do reopen in the future. So, if you're able to teach that at home, I encourage that. Also, when is it safe to be around others after you had or likely had COVID nineteen? And there's always important questions around when do I be when can can I be around others? And I think that. Um, if you think you, if you know, or if you had COVID-19 and had symptoms, and symptoms meaning fever, nausea, headaches, loss of appetite, those are some symptoms um, for COVID-19. And in, if you have been diagnosed with COVID-19 and had symptoms, you can be around others at least 10 days since symptoms first appeared. So it's always important to keep a journal and also after at least 24 hours since last fever without using a fever reducing medication. Fever reducing medication is like Tylenol or either ibuprofen. So those are just um, some time markers that you can look at. And then obviously if your symptoms have improved over time. And then if you had tested positive possibly um, with COVID-19, you have no symptoms. If you continue to have no symptoms, you can be around others 10 days that have passed since they were tests and that you continue to have no symptoms. So for anyone then who has been around a person with COVID-19, it's important to quarantine for 14 days after exposure based on the time it takes to develop illness. So we always um, in, so encourage people to identify themselves as close contacts or not. And close contacts are individuals that have been around someone that's positive for 15 minutes um, or longer and less than three feet distance. And sometimes these individuals, um, obviously you're more at risk if you didn't wear your mask, but that's why it's always important to wear a mask all the time and treating everyone like they have COVID-19 just to protect yourself and others. Also asymptomatic, um, you might hear this often, but asymptomatic just means presenting those symptoms of a disease. But symptomatic means on the other hand, you're presenting symptoms of a disease. So if you're asymptomatic, um, usually um, people who are asymptomatic show mild or um, show no symptoms at all. Individuals who are infected can be carriers of the virus and get others sick without knowing it. So it's very important that um, we understand what, who our close contacts are if they're, if you've been around someone that's COVID because you might not um, show a lot of symptoms. And so someone who suspects or knows they have been exposed to a person with COVID-19 should self-quarantine for 10 days. And then COVID-19 symptoms may appear two days after exposure. So 
use these facts to keep your elders and your family and your community safe from COVID-19. Remember the best way to avoid being infected is to practice social distancing and wearing a mask when out in public. So it's very important, like I mentioned, to understand this. And one of the reasons is that uh, among COVID-19 um, does infect the, the young individuals too. And in our population between 18 and 44, there's individuals that have gotten COVID-19. So there's about 40, 45.5% of our cases. So it's important to wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands and to stay home. But young, young adults make up half of our cases. Most young people do not get very sick, but some do and all, and all can infect others. You have to, you have the power to protect yourself and your family and your friends. So together we can stop the spread. So those are the um, data that we have that supports um, a lot of this effort around understanding how COVID um, impacts individuals. So those that are younger could be more asymptomatic. So we really need to be careful if you know that you um, might have gotten COVID, um, your um, transmission without knowing or if you're not protecting yourself or staying away from people, um, the likelihood of transmitting it to an individual that's older and with underlying health conditions very high if you don't practice any preventive measures. And those that are older, um, they experience more um, symptoms and also often worse symptoms and possibly require hospitalizations. And most of our elders um, in, the, in our statistics did show that those are the ones that, um, that we have a high vitality rate or for among the older population, those that are older than 65. So it's very important to understand um, what those um, terminology means and your risk of exposure um, when you're out in the public and making sure that you understand who you are in contact, but the only way to prevent yourself is to con continuously wear your mask. And so what to do if a parent or a caregiver has COVID-19, if a child's parent or a caregiver is sick with COVID-19, follow these steps to help protect the child from infection. So if a, a parent does um, or a caregiver gets COVID-19, um, you want to isolate um, individuals um, within the home as much as possible to um, other areas. We still have our um, Chinle Best Western that's open for intaking those that want to be isolated. Then going to a place like that reduces your risk of infection to your entire family or others that are high risk in your family. So please consider that those options are still available for everyone on the Navajo Nation through working with your healthcare organizations and ask about it. So one way in your own home here is to have an emergency plan, um, avoid contact with sick, with a sick parent or a caregiver, so no hugs and kisses. If possible, seek a caregiver outside of the home who's not at risk for COVID-19, whom the child can stay with. If the child has been exposed, help the child quarantine for 14 days. Frequently wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and wear a mask near the child and maintain a six feet distance. Increase ventilation by opening windows in the home. Disinfect all items before giving it to the child. And those are some basic steps you can do. Um, if you don't have bleach by any chance, I mean, you can still use soap to um, kill the coronavirus disease. It's very um, easily can be disinfected with um, continuous um, soap and um, any kind of detergent soap. So don't ever feel like you don't have it. Um, you do have those at home. Watch your child's symptoms and the, if, if the house has more than one room or bathroom, section off that area for a sick person, individual. Avoid sharing any items with a sick parent or caregiver. If possible, the child should stay away from people who are at high risk for getting sick from COVID-19. So just understanding um, 
your ability to quickly isolate and or quarantine an individual, quarantine in the individuals or those that are exposed, isolating or those that are infected. The thing that um, Dr. Fowler mentioned was regarding the returning to work. If you're returning to work, stay alert and protect yourself by practicing everyday preventive actions. So um, practice um, protecting yourself by staying home when you're sick. And those are written in the Navajo Nation reoccupancy guidelines. Monitor your health. Um, a lot of things about your health with COVID is um, it's really up to us to regularly maintain a healthy diet, to continue to exercise as much as we can so we're able to combat the disease. Wear a cloth covering at all times. Also practice social distancing and shared spaces at work. Wash your hands with soap and water often. Um, this could become a routine. I mean, your hands will get really dry and whatnot, but it's really important to wash your hands with soap, even though um, you didn't um, go to the women's or men's restroom. It's just a matter of just keeping your hands safe and clean. Cover your um, coughs and sneezes. Avoid sharing objects and equipment. But if you do or sharing office um, equipment, like if you go into a conference room, just make sure that you clean down um, the high touch surface areas, like the telecom or doorknobs. Things like that, just out of courtesy for people that are going to use it afterwards. So if you could suggest that to your supervisors, just a routine for people to clean. Also clean and disinfect frequent, frequently touch surfaces and objects. And I know in our command center, we try to encourage people to clean when they come right in, in at 8 in the morning. We do have a security person that does clean the doors regularly. And so if there is an infection that occurs, you know that some of these cleaning routines um, help um, reduce the transmission, even though if an exposure does happen, as long as you wear your mask, you wear, you clean areas um, on frequently, um, those are all defenses against um, transmission of COVID. So keeping a hand sanitizer on hand with at least 60% alcohol, if it's available, otherwise you can resort to washing your hands with soap and water often and then avoiding having vis visitors at the workplace. So visitors, um, just treat it like your household, your workplace, because you practically spend, I mean, nine hours of your day with your the were people that you work with. I would always think of these individuals as ha me having more contact with them sometimes of course, than your own family on a daily basis. So you come into these areas and you're familiar with everyone knowing that the, everyone that's coming into that building is not at risk or has gone through the protocol of um, feeling safe when they come to work, that people answer the questionnaire questions that are related to making sure that they don't feel sick or they haven't been around someone that has been exposed or positive and they come to work and by answering those questions honestly um, you're building an, an environment that you feel safe within but visitors if they're very minimal interactions find a way to communicate with them so that way um, you're not exposing yourself and your staff because often these visitors you don't know. Um, so think about ways in your workplace to address slowly um, how to meet um, customer needs um, while we're transitioning back to providing services. And this relates not only to the Navajo Nation tribal programs, but for the private businesses that are uh, beginning to operate. And so I would encourage everyone to think of all of these preventive measures on a daily basis. Like I mentioned before, this is this uh, webpage at Navajo Reopening Navajo NSN.gov um, slash executive 
hyphen branch dot guideline or dash guideline. So there you'll see what I mentioned about the reoccupancy measures to protect the um, employees, also to reduce the chances of spreading COVID-19 and keeping everyone safe at the workplace. So reread those guidelines, get familiar, familiar with it. Um, and there's always room for improvement. I mean, this is something that we've never experienced. And then I encourage um, people to, employees and others to use this document for their own purposes. I hope that it gives um, some support or guidance to those that are non-executive um, branch um, that can be used by private businesses or others or schools and, and it, as a way of communicating with your own employees. It's basically all related to worksite safety. So there'll be updated material on, on this webpage. I just encourage those that have come back to work or those that have been at work to relook at these, get familiar with it because it will really help in identifying cases. Other areas I, that's very important also is there, there'll be more um, disinfectants that you might be in your workplace or at home, but as you know, make sure you don't drink it. <clears throat> it doesn't treat COVID-19. Read the label, do not use the hand sanitizer. It contains methanol, so that something's very toxic to your skin, or even when it's ingested, so make sure you follow the labels. Do not mix any chemicals um, within these disinfectants or with others that you think might help um, in killing COVID-19 uh, while cleaning. So sometimes it's dangerous, especially um, when um, we need to keep it away from kids. So um, storing those chemicals away from children are very important. And also disinfectants are poisonous and can cause a serious harm or even death if swallowed or injected. So the poison helpline right here is 1-800-222-1222. So just reminding everyone about disinfectants, not to ingest or inject themselves with it. Also traveling off the um, Navajo Nation right now, we have the curfews that have been um, lifted and reduced the last couple of weekends. Um, but these are always important questions I ask everyone to think about when you're traveling off the Navajo Nation. We're still in a pandemic. Um, and while you, when you do decide to travel, you increase your chances of getting infected and spreading COVID-19. And so staying home is the best way to protect yourself and others from getting sick. So the risk level for COVID-19 um, when you are at home is zero, but when you begin to um, mobilize yourself to move around within the Navajo Nation um, or with um, in the border towns, um, you increase your chances. And the best thing you can do when you leave your home is to make sure you practice everything that we have talked about, wearing your mask, washing your hands, and maintain at least six feet of physical distance. And those are all areas about getting, there has been some flyers that I have gone over when you um, are out traveling, make sure you make contactless um, purchases um, as much as boss possible, not to handle cash, but if you do, make sure you wash your hands and disinfect correctly. But it's very important to ask yourself some questions when you go off the Navajo Nation, is that um, wherever you're going, is COVID-19 spreading where you're going? There are areas that are more at higher risk as usual, um, a lot of the metro areas. Um, certain counties um, have more rates than others. Higher rates of um, COVID-19. Will you or those you are traveling with be within six feet of others during or after your trip? So ensuring when you do leave that you do keep in mind the physical distancing. Also are those that are, um, are you or those you're traveling with more likely to get ill from COVID-19? And that really um, reflects the um, underlying conditions 
um, of individuals that have um, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, or they might um, go to dialysis. So those are important questions to consider. Also, if you live with someone and you come back, are you um, sure that you're going to quarantine yourself after your trip too? Because a lot of those symptoms occur after two to 14 days. Um, so are you prepared for the risk? And so just asking yourself those questions and how, how to minimally get things or that you need to as quickly as possible if you do need to go and reducing your time out there is very important. Um, part of the new um, public health order, the drive-in gatherings do now continue to exist. Um, that's extended from public health order number 14, which is that um, guidance on safe management of drive-in gatherings. And this includes internet access, religious services, funeral services, music events, and other events. Right now, there isn't any <laughs> approval for in-person gatherings. Um, of five people or more. There are guidelines out there that we try to encourage everyone to think about, but if there are more than five people, the only thing that's allowed during non-curfew hours are driving gatherings. So any event organizers um, and participants must comply with the following requirements. Participants must stay in their vehicles for the entire event. Vehicles should only carry people from the same household. Vehicles must be at least six feet apart. Organizers and participants must wear face masks. Public restrooms are limited to no more than five occupants at one time. Organizers must provide access to hand washing stations, sanitizers, and gloves. Organizers must ensure high touch surfaces are regularly and are regularly disinfected. Over the weekend, and we did hear reports at the command center about um, religious gatherings of all sorts, also flea markets and roadside markets. Um, so those are not allowed during curfew hours, and but on Saturday they are. Um, they are not allowed. I mean, let me go back. Flea markets and other services like that that are not driving are not allowed. So everything at this point is only driving gatherings only. So there shouldn't be any in-person um, flea markets. I think I saw in one of the communities in Shiprock, they did have their farmer's market. So right now we don't um, encourage those type of events. Um, at this point, a lot of it is driving gatherings. So no in-person. And I mentioned before the lockdown for this weekend is the 32 hour lockdown, which starts um, August 22nd at 9 p.m. and ends on Monday, um, August 24th at um, 5 a.m. in the morning. And just as a daily reminder, our daily curfews are 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. And as we all ind indicated that we're, our numbers are still down, so I just want to encourage um, everyone to continue to practice social distancing and uh, washing your hand and make this a daily routine and encourage um, other family members to um, practice these um, healthy behaviors to reduce transmission of COVID-19. That's the only way that we can continue to keep our numbers down. We don't have a vaccine. We don't have a cure. As long as we don't have those, these preventive measures are the only tools that we have. So it's really up to us to take on that responsibility, not only for ourselves, but our others and also our families, our community, and also the Navajo Nation as a whole. So I just want to thank all the listeners this evening and continue to um, stay safe and have a good weekend and prepare for the 32 hour lockdown this weekend. Thank you very much.